This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Shippy versus Green. You all have been together for five years. You're engaged. You have two children together. And you have a wedding planned in eight months. But whether that wedding actually happens depends on what happens here today. Am I right, Ms. Shippy? Yes, sir. Right, you brought this case. Tell us why. Okay, well, I've been with my husband now for the last five years. We do have two children together. And my thing is this right here. If you're cheating on me, I need to know. Because I feel as though he's doing it with his wingman. Okay? I have my wedding book here today. Um, this is a G. And it stands for green, but it will be an S, meaning a no-go, if I find out that he is cheating on me today. Oh. Wow. So, so you, you... Yeah, you're ready to get married. You already referred to yes, him as your husband. I am. I have the venues. I have the dresses, Your Honor. You can take a look at my wedding book if you would like to. Right. Like, I won't be spending any money. Like, we'll stop everything. Let's see what you got in there. Oh, this is amazing. Yes. I want to come. I will, hey, I hope you do it right, because I want to come to this. She's got the venue. She's got the dresses. We're going to have horses and wine. Got the cake. Cheese. This cake is amazing. And a nice barn, you know? It's Sounds beautiful. Great. Thank you. Come on, Mr. Green. You can't be messing this up for everybody. I thought about the horses. You Oh, you you <laughs> contributing the horses yes, to this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I have All a lot right. to do with that book, too. All right. And yep. you want to be there for it, right? Of course. Because she says you may not be there for it, depending on what happens today. What do you have to say about that? Um, man, basically, I just have to say I'm ready to let my let her know how I feel about everything, you know, and let her know that I'm innocent. You know, the book doesn't have to go anywhere. I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a man for her. I'm just ready to plead my case and let her know that. I bet that there's some things you've been doing to try to catch him cheating. Uh, definitely. I've All been... right, tell me about them. <sighs> yeah, I, I sniffed dirty drawers, a box. She in the bushes. You like, I'm in the... You right. Of she course. She's in the bushes. in the bushes, in the cut. Of course. Acting like I can't see her. Of course. No binoculars, all her. I'm not gonna oh. be blinded. I'm not gonna be blinded in those women that find out 25 years down the line that their man undid them wrong and they didn't know nothing in the beginning. In the beginning, but I, I want to know now, so we can just squash this now. All right, what made you first feel like something has changed? Well, you know, I can start with this right here: the receipts that I found. All right. In my closet. Oh, now, they were dirty old receipts, and I threw them away in the trash can, but the one receipt that caught my eye was the one for $1,400 with the baby items. A $1,400 receipt with baby items? Yes. Okay. Now, I know we do have two children. I was about to say. But the dates don't add up. And if you don't mind, I can show you what I mean. Yeah. All right, step to the plasma. Yeah. So, when you say the dates don't add up... The dates don't add up, because they're not mine. But you have two kids... Mm-hmm. ...and you're sure they're not for your kids. I'm... I'm positive. All right, tell me why. Okay, I had... We had our first son, Jordan, okay? Uh, April 4th. Okay. All right? Okay, but the receipt was dated June 8th for newborn items. Now, that makes my son two months, okay? Now, if I was gonna do my shopping, I would've did it March, maybe February... You know? But but not two months after for infant baby clothes. And then on top of that, our second son, he wasn't even thought about until the first week of October. Because that's when I found out I was pregnant again with our second son. So it doesn't add up, Your Honor. So... And I feel like there's a mystery baby on the loose. Okay, thank you, Ms. Shippy. To be honest, I, I don't even know how I could spend $1,400 on just straight baby clothes. She says she doesn't see Sounds the stuff, suspect. but well, it's maybe. bassinets here, it's, it's sleepers, it's clothes everywhere for both our kids. And I, I honestly feel like this may be a thing and not trying to make her, you know, look sour as anything, but I feel like it's a thing because she might have went on a shopping spree without me. We okay, would. but Mr. Green, and here's the I problem. A couple problems with that. Yeah. One, if she went on a shopping spree and bought these items, well, they'd be that. in your house. Mm -hmm. You'd be able to say, okay, you're accusing me of this, but here, here's that, here's that, Thank here's you. that. Yeah. What Miss Shippy is saying is she's got a receipt showing $1,400 worth of merchandise that's nowhere in your house. I don't have $1,400 to spend on mere, merely baby clothes, purely baby clothes. We have to keep the house running with bills and a whole bunch of rent and but, everything but to keep kids... So what did you see? Yours. I, All right, I so what you're saying is the receipt fell into your pocket and then fell out your pocket into the floor. Is that what you're trying problem. to tell us? That's not what I'm trying to tell you, Your Honor. I'm trying to tell you I have nothing to do with this receipt. Yeah, wait a minute. Yes, well, you may not have bought it, but did you give somebody 
or go with somebody and spend $1,400. No, I have no secret babies. I have no secret shopping sprees, secret Santas, no secrets <laughs> anything. I, I really don't, you know, I, I, I have nothing. Right, Ms. Shippey, so you believe he's conceived a baby with someone else and that's where this money went? Yes. Have you seen or found anything else that makes you think he's cheap? I, I did, I did. He's a good deeder, you know, during the week, Monday through Friday, but weekend, it's strip club time. Oh. With KJ. Oh. With KJ, his, his, his best friend. And, you know, he tells me everything I want to find out. So, you know, I'm, hey, what happened? You know, where was y'all at? And he's a fool. I mean, he'll tell me everything anyway. So his best friend is sticking with him, too. So you got to yeah, miss... because on the weekends, that's when they go out. And he's cheating on me with the homegirls they have, all the stuff. Why I do you think parties. that? Parties. I'm, I'm seeing them do couple nights at bowling alleys. KJ sees all this stuff. He sees me sometimes, and he lets me know what I need to know about what it is that he's doing. What is yeah. KJ telling you? Because that's pretty unusual for I the mean, best friend I don't know if talk. I should believe him really, you know, because I do understand, like, if he's really a friend, like, why would he even be exactly. telling, I you know, me... The bro code! Yeah, but that's what he does. He tells me, and it's just like, I'm finding stuff, the friend's telling me stuff, I know they're gone all the time. Something isn't adding up. Yeah, I know, uh... I, I can understand where she's coming from completely, but for the most part, it, it, it isn't even really the case. Um, so why you know, can't we go chill on the weekend? I understand, but, man. Because what my, she's my talking problem, about is not but what, my, but what my problem is, the, what my problem is, uh, I, I just feel, you know, on the weekend, I kind of just want to be with the homies. Like, I just want to chill and breathe because well, I feel know, like after right when I get off work, I got to go back home to defending myself. Well, let's get to the bottom of what know. this friend is saying. <laughs> Because we got your version. Yes. And we got your version. Maybe it's time to hear from the friend's version. I and he's so. here right now. All right. All right. Stop. Ron, would you please Ron, escort the friend in? Yes, mm -hmm. I'm ready. Got both wrong. <laughs> okay. Sir? All right, Chris. We will see, baby. We're going to go right up to the witness. We'll see. Okay. How you doing? Good day, sir. How are you? I'm doing good, sir. Have a good, good day. Would you state your name, please, for the court? Robert Taylor. KJ, that too. I, I was going to say, are you the, the, the talked about KJ? They like to talk about me, you know, but we all good. And you are the best friend of Mr. Uh, Green? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Me and Chris, I've known Chris for a while. But I also consider, you know, a kid to be a sister to me, too. All right. Have you observed any of the things that Miss Shippey might have been doing to try to catch Mr. Green cheating. Okay. Yes, ma'am. As much as I like kids, you know... We were, we were going to bowling alley one day, me and Chris. You know, we're getting out, and I'm looking behind a tree. <laughs> behind a tree. And I'm looking, I'm like, oh, my. So I just kind of stopped and tried to tie my shoe, because, you know, you want to be sure to see if somebody behind a tree, you want to kind of know who it is behind the tree. <laughs> So I'm looking, I'm like, oh my, that's Kia. You know, I can tell specifically because her hair was brown. Don't be fooled by the color today, it was brown. <laughs> you know, it was brown. Miss Shippy, were you hiding behind the tree? I was. And the tree was little. <laughs> oh, did. that's a real thing. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was just being, you know, hyperbolic no, about it. You really know. are in the bush. She was physically I'm behind to get the tree. In the next eight months. I need to know something now. All right, okay, so you see her behind the tree. Yes, All right. Well, Mr. Taylor, let me ask you this. Are you his wingman? Yeah. Am I his wingman? Yeah. Okay. No, sir. I can never be Chris's wingman. We have two different lives. You know, Chris, married. Well, almost <laughs> married. Almost we'll married. We'll see if right. they get married based on what happens today. That part. Yes, sir. Ooh, okay, I got you, sir. Got yeah. You. But he'll be single just like you and the rest of your friends, too. But you, you're not his wingman. No, I'm not his wingman. No, if we go out, I'm not influencing like, hey, Chris. They over there. You know, that's not my, that's not my intention. So, Mr. Taylor, uh, Ms. Shippy mentioned that you mentioned to her that you've seen Mr. Green doing some things with other women. I mean, what have you seen? Okay, well, yes, sir. Um, well, Kia, she's kind of convincing. You know, she caught me one day. She was crying. I'm not even sure if those tears were real. She's real convincing. She was like, I need to know. I need to know. So tell me something about Chris. And I'm like... Okay, you know, I, I got a good heart. I look at her as a sister also. So I'm like, well, you know, 
when you went out of town for your writing trip, you know, me and Chris' birthday, they on mine right here. It's in March 22nd, 23rd, they're a day after each other. So I was like, yeah, you know, we did throw, a, I had like a little party. And um, I remember specifically before that party, Chris was like, hey, you know, make sure you just watch out for him, you know, um, make sure I don't do anything. But I'm single, you know, and I'm at a party, <laughs> and I kind of, you know, get under the influence. You know, we can speak, we adults, right, Judge? <laughs> Judge. So, okay, that go Chris, but I did see a girl, too. And I was like, oh. And what were they doing? Well, you know, they were just standing there at first, but I, I seen Chris's hand. You know, he kind of, like, grabbed the booty a little bit, and I was like, oh. Come on, and a KK. kiss is what you told me, and a kiss too. See, and you're honest. And what else happened? Really you gotta tell them. And what else and they, happened? The next day, you know, our birthday's a party. We had kind of had another party because he was with me, and I was like, you know, she out of town. We gonna party. You know, we got drinking games going on now, and um, I he wanted to participate. I don't try to influence any decision. You know, Chris, my boy, though, I still try to look out. Maybe I don't do the best job of that sometimes. You don't, bro. Uh, maybe I you don't. You don't at all, bro. That's cool, Chris. But okay, then we um we playing spin the bottle. We playing spin the bottle. So okay. the bottle spins, and um it goes past me. I was like, dang, I wish it would have landed on me. It landed right on Chris. And Chris was for, you know, he had to kiss this, he had to kiss another woman. And, and did he kiss this other woman? Tell the truth. Okay, they tell did the he kiss the other woman? Did he kiss the other woman, part. right? Okay. Was it a kiss like or was it a long passionate kiss? It was it was we're gonna go two seconds. One second and a half. You know, one second and a half. Cause it should have been. It looked no like he second. maybe liked it a little bit, no but second. it was it was okay. quick and it was it was You're on the Okay, okay. hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Mr. Green, did you kiss this other woman? No, Your Honor. My thing is, KJ just came up here, and I'm just, I'm, it, this is live, <laughs> in effect, he just came up here and told a story. He just said she was crying to him, and he made up a whole thing to make her feel better. He's yeah. playing both sides about something, so how could y'all even believe this second story about a party when he didn't even come up here truthful? Okay, and well, I haven't to... made a decision about whether I believe him or not. I've turned to you and asked you, did you kiss the other Not woman? at all, no, Your Honor. Was there another woman? No, Your Honor. Did you all go out for your birthdays? Yeah, we went out, yes, we did. Did you all party for your yes. birthdays? Yes, we did. Were there other women there? Yes. yes, there was. Did you grab one, hug him? No. Touch him on the bottom? Not at all. I can enjoy myself by myself. I think we have enough love. Okay. All right, what we got is she found a receipt for baby items that don't belong to either of their kids because they were bought in the middle, $1,400 worth of items. Then the final thing is she thinks Mr. Uh, Mr. Taylor is playing wingman, and he's like, no, I'm not doing that, but I did see him playing spin the bottle, touching a lady on the bottom at our birthday parties, and among other things. And so, I found all together, in my laundry room. You found who? Thongs in my laundry room after okay. the party. All right, yeah. so, and then, and, and this last piece of evidence, they were thongs that didn't belong to you, I presume, in the laundry room. And for all of those reasons, Miss Shippy thinks that Mr. Green is cheating. And she has said that if he is cheating, this lovely wedding that we got to look at is not gonna happen. Yes. All right, no. there it is. Well, she came here to get some answers, and this court has done a full and complete investigation to get those answers. At this time, the court will call a certified polygraph examiner, Tommy Platt, to determine, is he cheating? All right, Mr. Platt, how are you? Doing great, Your Honor. Good to see you. You asked Mr. Green, since the start of your relationship, in December 2014, have you gotten another woman pregnant? What was his response to that question? He stated no, Your Honor. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. We have more to go. All right. You asked Mr. Green, since the start of your relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with another woman? What was his response? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was telling the truth. Is the wedding back on? The wedding is back on. All right, Rob, we better get us back to it. Thank you. 
You all are engaged. You have four children together. You've been together for 15 years, the first 12 apart, but the last three, you all have been living together. Whether you continue to live together all depends on what happens here today. Am I right, Ms. Vega? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Tell me what's at stake here. Okay. Well, here's the deal. Um, as you mentioned, we've been together. I've uh, known each other for 15 years. We have four children together. Um, in the last three years, uh, we, he's decided to finally to say, hey, I'm ready to, to commit. In, in the last few months, the commitment went to a different level, and he proposed to me. Okay? That's a good thing, right? It's absolutely a great thing, especially being that um, uh, for he, we're Dominican. And for Dominicanos, they're like mochismo. That's like macho men. They don't, they don't commit in that, in that way, okay? So for him to propose, that was big. Okay? So why are you hesitant? I'm hesitant because I still have... Uh, I feel like he's not being totally honest. Let me also warn you that about these Dominican men, they're sexy, they're players, and they, and, and he, and they know how to, to lie. So I need answers to confirm that the things that I suspect, that he's being honest. And that's why I'm here today to, in hopes that you guys can help me resolve these answers that I'm looking for. All right, Mr. Batista, she says that she can't believe you've committed, but she doubts that you are. Are you committed to Miss Vega? Yes, Your Honor. And you want to marry her? Yes, Your Honor. Have you cheated on Miss Vega? No, Your Honor. Are you here to prove that you haven't cheated? Yes, Your Honor. All I'm... right, well, here's a... <laughs> well, you all have been together for a long time. What was it about him that you liked? Um, he's funny. He, ha he, has a, he has a wonderful personality. Um, I love his heart. We have similar hearts. We're both loving, caring people, which is why we have our nonprofit together. We just want to help people, love people, and share, share our love, pretty much. So this is what I loved about him. Um, he's a good father, now having children. Uh, it's just he has a lot of good qualities about him that I admire. All right, now she said it was a big deal that you proposed to her. Tell me about that proposal. I, I mean, what did you do? Yeah, How did you propose to her? That's something that we don't do often in Dominican Republic. Okay. You know, uh, that was in a. I was playing baseball. It was in a, in a game. So, I propo I proposed to her. Wow! Look at that. And look at look at that. Ah! That was, look at you. That was the best time of my, of my life. Ah. Oh. So, were you surprised? Of course. You said I, a quick Actually, yes. I didn't say anything. I forgot English and Spanish. I was just like... <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked. So, tell me what, what has gone wrong. Uh, we have a one... Uh, 15-month-old. Okay. And during the time when I was pregnant, uh, we found out that uh, my cervix was weak and I had to have a cerclage put in place. And for those who don't know what a cerclage is, it's basically when you have a weak cervix, they have to tie like a rubber band around to keep the baby in place. Gotcha. Okay? So with that being said, we can't have sex. Okay? So the whole pregnancy, you were... Well, we found this out maybe like 15 weeks into my pregnancy. So prior okay. to that, yes, we were fine. But then after that, it was no nookie. Okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now, with that being said... We're both open, both freaky, if you will, and we like to spice up our relationship, you know? Okay. And that's a good thing, right? At time, well, you've you been gotta, together for so long. I mean, that. come on, you don't want to do the same position, do the same thing. And, and so I presented to him, I said, look, what about if we brought in another person? So, Mr. Oh. Batista, when she said, maybe we can take this to the next level, what did you feel about that? Well, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. It, so, well, so, Mr. Collins, he don't tell anything else true. That was the truth right yeah. there. You see how excited and, and, and he got and to Somehow, that? I think you knew the answer to that question when you asked him. Well, Quickly. you know, I just want to be sure. I just want to make sure. All right, so you offer some extra so I, love. I offered to bring on another woman. Okay. Okay. And then... And, and that was supposed D to be... During the pregnancy? No, 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 no. After the pregnancy. Okay. Oh, so, the deal was... was my way of saying, hey, look... We didn't get to do anything throughout the pregnancy, but not to worries. We can maybe do something 
after the baby is born. If you just hold off and behave yeah. yourself afterwards, I got a little something yeah, yeah, surprise yeah. for you. Right. We weren't okay. going to make this like a a, 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 a thing that we're going to be doing consistently. Did you, um, did you pick somebody? Yes. Or did, were y'all going to pick somebody no, together? No, 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 no. He don't get to pick. Oh. I'm the one. <laughs> You don't okay. have the men to pick nobody. If the, if the woman is supposed to, if she's going to be about do that, she's going to be the one to present the woman. Okay. And that's what I was doing. Uh, and on... so you had, you had somebody identified? Yes. Wow, okay. She's... Did he know who you wanted? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And... Were you good with who she picked? Yes, Your Honor. All right, all right. All right. <laughs> so then, did you all actually do this? Well, after the baby came, um... I realized I know I didn't want to be a I didn't want to do it, so I backed out of it. Oh, um, oh, Miss Vega! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what do you mean, all oh, Miss Vega? It was a pregnancy. Talk. Wait a minute, hold on, I gotta <laughs> deal with this right yes, here. <laughs> Okay, she put it out there. She told him. She identified the person. And then at the end, it's like, I was just playing. I was just messing with you. I was just playing. No, a, a woman's yeah. prerogative. <laughs> no, that, that's, that was a woman's prerogative. Right? I got to like... research that. that could, that's a verbal contract your, or something. Your honor. <laughs> right. Okay. But moving forward, um, he... Hold on, but I do yes. have to ask this. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Batista, how did you feel when she said, no, nah, we ain't doing that? I just think I feel. <laughs> yeah, I know how you felt. <laughs> yeah. All men understand that situation, right? Yeah. yeah you I mean, understand that situation? I do. If you promise something and then you don't get it, you're uh -huh. not happy about it, uh -huh. regardless of what it is. You know what? Y'all gonna get Mr. Cutler in trouble. I'm gonna go back over here. Right. So you, you decide, okay, we're not doing this. Yes, Your Honor. Um, and so moving forward, when I made that decision, um, one day I went out of town and, um, I come back home and, um, I realized on the, my linen on the bed was not there. Now, Poppy knows when it comes to linen, first of all, I don't wash, uh, linen in, in the, uh, in the washer and dryer. Okay. Because we have silk. Okay. So can oh. I show you? I sure. just too. to. You know, now, everybody knows you do not put this in the washer and or in the dryer. Okay. That's the stuff you take to the cleaners. Okay. This cotton, that's that stuff you put in the washer and dryer. Okay, and you're saying that Mr. Batista knows not to put that linen in the washer and dryer. Your Honor, he knows because A, I'm the one that cleans the house and takes the stuff to the cleaners. B, he knows how funny I am when it comes to cleanliness. So he knows you don't get on, I don't care if you got off work, a hard day at work, you don't lay on the linen uh, with the dirty clothes. You go take a shower, then you get on that bed. He knows that. All right, so. About, she's about her linen. <laughs> yes, I'm about, she's really yes. about that. Okay, so Mr. Batista, did you put the linens in there? And then in the washer and dryer? You know, my kids did it. Did you tell your kids to do it? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Why did you tell them to do that? Because they were dirty. But didn't you know that those silk uh, linens would need to go to the cleaners? She says that you knew this. Yeah, but I forgot that. He says he forgot. He put them, kids put them in the dryer. That sounds like a reasonable explanation. Why don't you believe that? It just, the story just didn't add up. Um, to make the story even greater, um, probably about a month later, the same woman that, um, I wanted to be involved in this threesome, she contacted me via social media. Okay. okay. So, while contacting me, she divulged information and she said, oh, I just wanted to let you know that me and Poppy, when you were out of town, we messed around. Oh. Where, where did, you, did she tell you where that uh, took place? Uh, yes, in our house. Okay, so with the sheets being the dry, they're not supposed to be there, and this woman telling you, I was at your house messing around with them, that's why you think the sheets were in the dryer. Of course, because everything seems to add up. Okay. Uh, Go ahead, love. Mr. Batista, this other woman, did you have her in the house while uh, Ms. Vega was out of town? No, Your Honor. How can you cheat to this beautiful lady? Look at this. I do, me. Huh? Look at this. Well, unfortunately, we have beautiful people cheating on beautiful people all the time. Yeah, I don't. Did you cheat with this other woman? No, Your Honor. 
Did you have contact with this other woman while Miss Vega was out of town? No, Your Honor. So, are there any other reasons that you believe Mr. Batista is cheating? Yes. Um, there was another incident that occurred. He does, uh, like, a car service. He has a car service, right? One day, um, I happened to find, um, uh, in the back seat, condom wrapper. It was just an empty condom wrapper? Yes. All right, Mr. Batista, did she... What happened when she asked you about the condom wrapper? Well, I was in the service car, you know, had somebody in the back. You know, when you have... When you're driving, so people ask you for a snack and condom late at night, they ask you for that stuff, you know? Who in the hell is gonna ask but... you for some condoms? You... So, are you saying that someone had sex in the back of your car while you were driving them? Because that's the only reason it'd be an empty wrapper. I don't know, Your Honor. I can't explain that because... <laughs> because when you're driving, you don't try to be nosy and look back, you know? You just... Well, you know? I, I gotta say, if somebody yeah. doing that in the back of that's my car, true. I think we gonna stop at a stop like me, take a exactly. look. Exactly. And see what's going exactly. on. Exactly. I... You know... Exactly. I... I think that's what would happen. Were you in the back of the car having sex with another woman? No, Your Honor. That's not you. That's what you... That's your story. I can't do it because I'm faithful to my fiancé. <sighs> all right, but Don't you... awe him. <laughs> <laughs> and I see the look oh. on Ms. Vega's face. You are supposed to be moving to the Dominican Republic together and continuing with your life. What's gonna happen if it turns out he is cheating? Honestly, if I do find out that he's cheating, I don't really believe that I'll be making that move to DR. Because if I stay with him, that means he's gonna be messing with my dinero, he's gonna be messing with my heart, he's gonna be messing with my time, and I don't have time for any of that. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Batista, what if she walks away from you? How are you going to feel? So I'm here to prove, like, I know... I know cheating, okay? I love... I love my fiancé, and I'm not doing anything behind... behind the back. Well, we're going to help them get to the bottom of this because this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams to determine, is he cheating? Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I'm a retired federal agent with over 25 years of law enforcement experience. I'm currently a certified polygraph examiner for the state of Georgia, and I'm also a licensed private detective. And you conducted a polygraph examination on Mr. Batista, correct? Yes, Your Honor. But before we go there, I'm watching Mr. Batista. He's rocking. And usually when I see that, they have a story they need to tell. So I'm gonna ask you, Mr. Batista, before... Mr. Williams tells your story. Do you have something you need to say? Yes, Your Honor. Tell me what you got to say, Mr. Batista. So I did cheat. Oh. Oh. You did cheat? <laughs> yes, I did, Your Honor. All right. When did you cheat? Her friend, she went to... She went to the house, and so since we talk about to do a threesome, so, my fiance, she was in a, out of town, and we did it. We did it. So, this was when so you your lied. fiance came back and found the <laughs> sheets in the dryer. It was because you were with another woman, and you were with a woman who you're supposed to have the threesome with. Yes, Your Honor. And you put the sheets in the washer and the dryer to try to get it all straight before your fiance came back home. Yes, Your Honor. Why you wait so long to tell me, Papi? But that doesn't mean I, I don't love her. You know, Demon, I love her. hello? Why you wait so long to tell me? Why you, why are you gonna bring me on this show for me to find out, hmm? I didn't tell you because I love you and I don't want to lose you. Love? You, know? you don't know about love, papi. Tu no sabe nada. Have you been with this woman any other time? No, Your Honor. Have Only you been with time. any other women? No, Your Honor. You I got the answer. He's admitted that he's cheated. Well, he said he hasn't had anybody else and he hasn't been with anybody else. Okay. Your Honor. So, the question is, mm. are you moving to the Dominican Republic with him? <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. I love... I love him. I do. 
Do, would I say if I would I be would I be dumb if I'm the woman to stay with him and say maybe we should seek marriage counseling? I think you have a better chance of getting back on track because he came clean before it came out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Mr. Batista, are you willing to do counseling and make this right? Yes, Your Honor. So you know you've messed up, right? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, is there anything that you want to say to Ms. Vega? Hey, baby. I'm sorry for what I did. You know I love you, okay? We have a beautiful family. And I don't want to lose you guys, you know? I love you guys. And I am apologize for what I did. I won't do it again. <laughs> you got to be a better person. You got to do what you need to do all the time. You just can't rest on the fact that, well, she's been here all this time. And I hope you realize that. You all have been together for 10 years, married for six, and Ms. Holt, you are a well-known bridezilla. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you've opened this case today because you believe your husband is cheating on you. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, what specifically do you want to try to find out today? I have strong suspicions that my husband is cheating on me with multiple women. Mm. His actions, his demeanor, he standoffish. He, his body language indicates that he's sleeping with somebody else because he's not giving me any attention, so he obviously must be giving it to somebody else. Oh. I just want out the marriage. I want to be gone. So, what you're telling this court is if it comes out that your spouse is, in fact, cheating, you're done. I'm gone. Wow. Mr. Martin, what do you want to prove today? What do you I want to prove to her? What do you want to prove to this court? I want to prove that I'm not cheating. I love my wife to death. I put in a lot of hard work and tears to try to get this woman. <laughs> I got a name tattooed on my arm and everything. So we got, a, we got a child together. I don't want them to go through that. And I love her and I don't want to lose. Okay. It's the first time me him, him say he loved me in a long time. She don't never tell me. Well, Mr. Martin, I mean, I acknowledge that she was on Bridezilla. So is this just her being a bridezilla, or is she being paranoid? Is there something to this? She being paranoid. I told him. I cheated in the past, that before we got married. But you gotta let the past be the past. The, but the past then, then, then translate over to the future, so... No. He lying. Okay, well, let's talk about the past, the good past. When you all met, how did you meet? <laughs> well, actually, she would pass through my neighborhood. I would holler at the car like, hey, 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 hey! <laughs> But she would never stop. She would keep going. You wait a minute. You were literally hollering yeah, I, and waving I, I, the I, car down. I, I mean, holler, I've, I've heard about hollering at somebody. But that's he a ho literally he hollering at holler, her. I holler, try to get her attention. Everything she, boy, she keep going. She would blow the really? car, keep going. You did that to her. I did. Yes, Your Honor. So She's probably playing hard to get. Were you playing hard to get? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. All right, so he's smiling and you grinning. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I heard, you know, he was a little sugar daddy, so I wanted a little money, so I stopped the car. <laughs> oh my goodness! So the... I stopped. Come on, look. I can't believe she said it. I can't believe. Well, I mean... hey, the truth will set you free. All right, <laughs> you know. well, she didn't come clean. He didn't have no money though, uh, Judge. Uh, he didn't have no money. I had a little bit. <laughs> I had a little bit, not a whole lot. Okay, so you did get any money. What did you get from me? You know, I was in a relationship and I was trying to get out the relationship. It was a real bad relationship. And, you know, we went on a date. He started paying for stuff and he had a car. He was coming picking me up and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm kind of digging this because before I would have to pay for everything and drive and do that. So you can kind of say he kind of swept me off my feet for the moment. Ashley, she was getting ready to go to school. She didn't have no car to go to school. I had a car. But it wasn't in good shape to go where she wanted to go. So I sold my car and got a new car and let her keep that car. Aww. Oh, my goodness. It, as good as I was, I'm not sure I did that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he gave, you yeah. gave me a ride in your car, but yeah. you didn't give me the car. Yeah. That's all right. That's a righteous move right there, okay? <laughs> Take me to the day that you said I do. So, I think we were out of town and he proposed uh, New Year's. Like, it was like at the countdown. And we was trying to get married, trying to get everything together. And I just said, you know, what the heck? Let's just, let's just go ahead and do it. And my heart was beating out my chest. But I swear, I, I wish I'd have just went the other way. No, no, she don't. No, she don't. So, instead of having this beautiful moment, you wish it had never happened? 
That's what we are? I, I regret we getting did, married. Did, All because you talking. believe he's cheating now. She just talking. Yes. I regret getting married. She just talking. What makes you believe that Mr. Martin is a cheater? You know, not long after we got married, I went to the store with one of my family members. And my family member came to pick me up. So we went to the store. So when I came back home, he was gone. So I'm like you know, sleeping good at night, and I just got my feeling, you know, my gut telling me something ain't right. So I hid in the closet in my daughter's room. He came home. I'm still in the closet, right? So his friend is outside with him. They outside talking. So he proceeds to tell his friend that he had just broke his boo headboard. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. That, that, that is true. All right, wait, that's, hold that's, on, that's hold on. true. That ain't true. I go outside. His back is turned. His friend is looking towards me. He said, ha, 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 ha. That, that because ain't true. he that, didn't, that he didn't know that I was coming that out. That ain't true. I walked up to him. I said, so, you busting, you breaking headboards? I said, because I had board and I broke in. <laughs> that ain't, that ain't, that ain't you, true. I tell you, I grabbed his little flip phone because he had a little flip phone then. <laughs> I broke it in two and locked the door, went in the house and bleached all his clothes. Everything that I bought him, Everything that I bought him, I bleached it. That ain't true. Okay. <laughs> that, is, that is not true. It was years ago, so just oh, fess up and say it was the truth uh, and let's just move on. I can't because it ain't the truth. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep so, telling this same well, story. I'm gonna keep you saying it didn't happen. It didn't happen. So you have said you, you heard this conversation. Have you seen anything that supports that Mr. Martin is cheating? I have nope. never physically caught him cheating, but I have evidence. So, what happened was, he on Facebook, okay? So, he didn't know. You know, I'm a little private investigator. You know, what do we call it? <laughs> I know it's password and stuff. But how I did that was, when he got a new phone, some kind of way his phone got connected into my Google account. That's how I got in, the got in his Facebook page. Every message that came to his phone was coming to my phone. You're concerned there are multiple women. They, there are multiple yeah. women. And I have, I oh, have proof of that as well. There are multiple women. All right, what proof do you have that there are multiple women? I have a collage women? right here. <laughs> A the way for her time. Ain't that one, two, three, four. Okay. Five. It's nine of them. Okay, explain that collage to me. All these women that he's dealt with, dealt with since we've been married, and one of them is his baby mama. So, yeah, all, you see, they all ugly, they busted and disgusted. I don't even know. <laughs> You know, okay, you well, know I'm just, I when you say he's dealt with these women, That's what do you what I mean? I think he's dealt with them sexually. You confronted him with this. Yeah, I showed it to him. Okay. He say, well, now nah, I messed with seven of them. No, then I, I messed with no, five of them. Oh, I ain't messed with none of them. I say, well, you got a baby with one of them, so what you saying? No, 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 I, no I didn't. Get your story together. You put together a collage. I put together a collage. A woman you believe he's been with. Right. And then you met with him or sat down with him and said, look at here. Yeah. I believe these are all the women you've been with. It's probably more than that, but those were the ones that I could find. Have you been with any of them nine no, women? No, then before her time, and half of them girls is on there with my girlfriend way before her. Well, okay. clearly you've been with one of them. Wait, wait, wait. Because you have a child together with her. Right. That was, my child, me and her was together for 17 years. Which so is still a factor her. in our relationship now, because she claimed that she still be messing with them too. No, she don't. No, she That's don't. That's what she saying. No, she don't. Are you concerned that she's sleeping with him right now? I do have concerns that and she may be sleeping with him right now. Everything. There's the husband side, there's the wife side, and there's the ex's side. And the ex is here. <laughs> so we're gonna hear from her. Ron, would you escort her in, please? Yes, Shana. Right. The truth shall be. Set you free. free. Right. I hope you come free. Stand there up next to Set everybody free. How are you today? Fine, and you? Can I sit? Yo, oh, absolutely. Please, have a seat. Oh, please. Please. Up. No Thank please. you very much. Would you state your name, please, for Paula the court? Paula Brooks. Thank you, Ms. Brooks. Ms. Brooks, what is your relationship with Mr. Martin? Well, I have a child with him. All right. How long were you all together? How long did you date? 14, 17 years, on and off. Is he pursuing you? He does. Every time I come home, I get a call. If he knows I'm coming home, he calls. He wants to get a hotel room. That's, that's, that's a lie. If I wanted that's to, I could. That's a lie. But you have. I, I, if I wanted to, I would. But you have. All right. So, <laughs> when he makes these suggestions about renting a room, have you ever taken him up on that? No. And every time he calls, it's never about the child. It's about what you. What is it about? Stop lying. Yes. Seeing me. So, you think he still has some kind of thing for you? I think he just thinks it's some freebie he can get. Mr. Martin? 
Not true. Are you still trying to have something going on with your ex? No, y'all. I, I try the only way I, I try to get her a room. Yeah, I try when she called me, let me know she coming town. I try to do get her a room. Get her a room for what? But, but let me let me finish talking, yeah, man. You about to I know it ain't I know it ain't right. But I be trying to get my baby, my little girl somewhere to sleep. Cause sometimes she come, she, she come stay with me. But most of the time when she come, I go out of town. So I try to make sure my girl, my daughter be comfortable. Other than that, that's it. So you are not offering to get a hotel room so you can have a hookup place. No. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Nah, that, that, that ain't true. I don't know. I, I'm not the bad guy. Of that I, thing. He done sunk I'm me. I'm not the bad guy. Trying to get a hotel room. He lie. sends me pictures. You sent a lie. picture? That's a lie. He sends you pictures of Baby. what? <laughs> so you're what saying he is, he is. He has sent me private part pictures <laughs> of himself. Are you yeah. serious? How long yeah. ago? It's been a while. It's... If I did, it been years ago. That ain't Do no you part. remember whether or not you did that? No. Look, okay, all right. So. Cutler, do you be believe that a man it. would send pictures of his private parts and not remember it? Oh, I mean, well, not I to his ex, no. I mean, you might send it to somebody that you are just putting out feelings, but if you've got a relationship Shit. with somebody, an ex, and you're trying to get with that ex, I mean, you remember what you're doing trying to get with it. Why would I send a picture? You know what it looked like. So you're saying oh, he has sent pictures of his private parts to you since he's been married to Miss Holt? Yeah. My question okay, to you, Mr. It. Martin, is when was the last time you were intimate with Miss Brooks? I've been years ago. Have you been intimate with Miss Brooks since you've been married to Miss Hope? No. No, we haven't. The look on your face says you don't believe her. I don't believe her. I haven't, but if I wanted to, I would have. But it's you have just that easy. If I want it, I can have it. But you have chosen not to have. I've chosen not to. The only reason why she's with him is because I moved to Texas and left him. He no, cheated baby, on before me. Before you left and went to Texas, I was already with him. He cheated. All right, ladies. And he's a cheater. <laughs> Don't put that out there. Say. We already know that. All right. To get to the bottom of all of these cheating allegations, this court ordered Mr. Martin to undergo a forensic voice analysis. Our analysts submitted those results to the court, and we have them. Mr. Martin, mm -hmm. with respect to your relationship with Ms. Brooks, is there anything you want to say before we open this envelope? No, sir. No, Your Honor. Mr. Martin, with regards to any woman, do you have anything you want to say right now? No, Your Honor. All right, let's take a look at the first question you were asked. Other than what we've discussed, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife? No. The forensic voice analysis determined you were being deceptive. Okay. Who were the other women? I ain't no other women. Let's take a look at it again. Other than what we've discussed, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife? Nope. All right, let's just talk about this. Mr. Martin, we have some additional notes here from our mm -hmm. analyst. And he says that you made an admission after the test that you had had sexual intercourse since you've been married. Not since I've been married. I don't remember that. I remember telling him that. Everything in your body, the way you're standing, your posture, the way you're looking at me, mm -hmm. tells me you are not telling the truth right now. Oh. I don't remember that. I remember telling him that. You don't remember telling him that? I, I didn't do that. No. Not since I've been married. All right, let me just say this, Mr. Martin. Mm -hmm. We've sat up here and we know, we've got a lot of years as lawyers knowing when people are telling us the truth and when they aren't. If you think you're gonna move your marriage forward, mm -hmm. you cannot continue to be deceptive. You took an oath when you came in. If you're gonna tell the truth, do it now. Or you might as well say goodbye to this woman because she's already said. Okay. So this is it. This is the moment. Since you've been married, have you had sexual intercourse with any other women? Yes. Women or woman? Woman. Just one. How many? One. What happened? It just, something just happened. <laughs> it doesn't just happen. Cause you just don't fall on it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it your ex? I, I can't even send a picture. 
No, what? no, no. No, oh, okay, what? Okay. So, it was not Miss Brooks. No, no. It was another woman in the collage. Yeah. Is the woman we're referring to the same woman that you broke the headboard with? Yeah, but it wasn't, it wasn't that time. <laughs> so, it's been it, more it, than one. It wasn't one. that time. <laughs> no, it wasn't, it weighed for, it weighed out of it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> when you say it wasn't that time... Right. It was right after that. All right, Miss Hope. You came here for the truth. We've had to drag it, but it's out there. Tell me what you're feeling and what you're planning to do. I don't feel nothing, but I'm ready to sign them papers. Hey, do you what it is? I don't feel nothing. So you're done. I'm done. Done, done. Been done. So what is okay. going to happen with this relationship from he this point? He's gonna get his black garbage bag and the stick he came I in on, no and he's gonna get right... Well, you ain't had no suitcase over there. Yes, and he's gonna get up out of there. So you're done. I'm done. He can go with it, baby mom. Mr. Martin, you know, I gotta say, you might have had a chance, and Miss Hope may disagree, but I think you might have had a chance, but because you lied and you tried to, you know, game her, you tried to game us, you lost her. <laughs> 